Hi guys, this video is all about scoring top marks in your GCSE and IGCSE chemistry exams. I'm going to be showing my top tips. Lyra is on my lap, I don't know if you can see her, no. But I'm going to be showing my top tips as to how you should approach your revision to ensure that you convert as much of your work to marks in the exam. So first of all, obviously, you need to understand the content. And my all-in-one videos are very popular because I go through every single specification point. However, if you need more detail, such as, for example, with chemistry, you're always being asked to balance equations. And I use the observation technique in my videos, which is when you kind of just look at the equation and work it out that way. If you need more support than that, then you need to check out my individual topic videos because that's where I actually teach you how to do it. So don't go into exam not knowing how to do basic things like balancing equations and on my channel you'll find everything you need that will teach you so that even if you didn't even understand what balancing equations was, I've got a video out there which will help you with that. So how are we going to do well in our chemistry exam? And for me, chemistry and doing well is all about understanding the principles. You need to make the periodic table your best friend. You need to understand what a group number is, what a period number is, how you can work out the neutron number from both... Ow! Claws! Ow! Why are you so clawy? Why? They really hurt. You're making holes in my clothes. You need to understand how you can use the mass number and the atomic number of an element in order to work out its neutron number. You need to understand how you can use the atomic number to work out the number of electrons which will help you work out electronic configurations, will help you to draw ionic bonding diagrams, will help you to draw covalent bonding diagrams. Chemistry is so interlinked. It's ridiculous. With biology and physics, you can pretty much learn separate topics. With chemistry, if you don't understand the basic principles, it makes learning the whole GCSE, IGCSE, extremely difficult. So getting to grips with the principles of chemistry is key. Linked with this, for example, is how you write chemical formulae, you can only work out how to write something like sodium chloride if you understand how the periodic table can actually help you work out the formulae. So sodium is in group 1, so the charge on its ion is Na+. Chlorine is in group 7, it's a non-metal, so to work out the charge on its ion you need to do 8 minus 7 to give you 1 minus, and then you can pop together those two formulae to make NaCl. So for me, Doing well in chemistry is all about basic principles. Once you've gone through everything, obviously you need to do past paper questions. I, as I said with my physics video, I've got my iPad Pro now, so I am going through past papers properly. I'm writing out all the answers, giving you my top tips. So do watch those videos if you're unsure how mark schemes have arrived at their answers, because sometimes mark schemes aren't that helpful and you're left wondering, well, how did they know that? And then obviously, coupled with that, I've got my revision guides, my PDFs, which will contain all those perfect answers. So, for example, why does diamond have a high melting point? Well, that's all due to it having a giant covalent structure, many strong covalent bonds, which require lots of energy to break. So I provide very concise answers to these questions in my guide, which is available in the online shop. In the following exam boards, CIE, AQA, Edexcel 9 to 1, at Excel, IGCSE. Lyra, come here. So yeah, I'm really hoping that you can see at Science of Hazel that we do have everything here for you to actually do super well in your exams. And don't forget to come follow me on Insta because I'm always sharing top tips there as well as cool science videos.